So I got a truck crane to install on my trailer. Here's the trailer, 18 foot, two foot dovetail. So uh, what I plan on doing is installing it on the back, either here or right here. Uh, if I install this way, I only got like six inches of overhang. If I install here, I got like two feet. So I'm thinking right here, which I'm gonna have to take this uh, chain mount off, and uh, yeah, I might do it there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some measuring, see where's best. I'm actually gonna build a little section out to here to bolt it to, rather than just put it on the inside and lose deck space. I don't want to have to remove it if I have to haul a car or something. You know? All right, here's what I got so far. They stick out about eight inches. Um, I've welded them. As you can see, I've already knocked the slag off of the welds. Pretty good welds. And uh, on the inside and outside. This one I was able to weld to the side pocket for extra strength. This one, I couldn't get close enough. So I took a piece of metal and welded it on the outside that connects them. And it's solid. So next I'm going to install this. I went ahead and cut this piece. This is the part that goes on the inside and that one goes on the outside. And so next I'll weld that on there. And so I can still take the crane off of bolts, but the brackets are welded on there. All right, the places I'm gonna weld have been ground. There, there, there. And uh, next I'm gonna weld it carefully and do a little bit of underside grind, uh, welding there. Add strength to it, and then it basically be installed. I did have a, added a slight lean to the left because my trailer is not loaded. And when my trailer is loaded, most of the weight is tongue weight because the tires are so far back. And so I figured they would level it out a little bit once I get a couple logs in it. Next I'm going to add this thingamajig. It's a, a jack, it's a screw style jack. And uh, there's a bracket for you gotta weld that on. And the idea is uh, this will keep the trailer from tacoing from the sheer weight of lifting something with my, uh, you know, um, crane. Because that's about 500 pounds, and I saw the trailer kind of leaning really hard this way. So it's a good idea, I think, to put something on it. So about to weld this. I got a magnet holding it right there, and then I'm gonna weld around it. Do some tack welds first, and uh, then go for broke. <laughs> Kind of thick metal right there actually it's chrome too I'd like to show my weld not all that bad yeah went all the way around it and on the inside a little bit and uh, that's good ready to paint that perfect I think uh, only thing next for me to do is to uh, clean up the welds with a wire brush and uh, paint them it's perfect so good Basically finished. We get a after shot in a sec. There's just showing the capability of that crane. It's probably a good six, seven hundred pound lawnmower. And uh, I did install this little bitty two ton jack here. And that's to keep me from taco, have kind of an outrigger, keep the corner of that trailer from sagging or anything. Although this is a heavy duty car trailer, I still thought it might be a good idea to add a jack to that side. It's a folding jack, it goes aside. So I've done that. And uh, yeah, to load logs easier now. I believe the uh, winch, the hand crank winch on the uh, actual uh, uh, swivel crane is uh, 2,000 pounds. But anyway, 